Hello guys, this is Emmanuel from WindowsReport.com and in this video we're gonna talk about the Google Chrome black screen issue in Windows 10. So recently users have reported that uh, when browsing through Google Chrome suddenly the screen went black and they didn't know what to do to solve the issue. So in this video I'm gonna show you how to do that. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna disable hardware acceleration. So to do that, you just have to go in the Chrome settings. You just go to these three points, then you go to settings. So from here, you just have to scroll down and then you'll see a button here that says advanced, you click on it and it will show you all the advanced settings of Google Chrome. You just have to scroll down and you'll find the setting use hardware acceleration when available. So you just have to disable it. You click on this button and you have to relaunch your Chrome. So you just click on relaunch and the browser will restart and you should not have the problem. But if the problem is not solved, I'm going to show you a few more solutions to the issue. So another reason for this problem to cure is the browser's plugins. So what we have to do is we have to disable one by one all the plugins that we have and we should see which plugin is the problem. So to do that we just have to go then again on the three points in the right hand side. Then you have to go to more tools and then extensions. So you have here all the extensions, you just have to disable them one by one. So I'm just gonna disable Google Docs, click on the button to uncheck it and the plugin is disabled. You just restart your Google Chrome and you see if the problem is solved. You do this one by one with every plugin you have. So the last thing that I'm gonna advise you to do is to reinstall Chrome completely. So you just have to use a dedicated software so it won't leave any files behind. You can use Revo Uninstaller, it's a very very good program, you find it very very easily and you can completely reinstall Google Chrome. If the problem is not solved, just as I said, don't forget to check out the article in the description. You have there a few more solutions and also, as I said earlier, a more detailed look to this problem. So all things clear, I was Emmanuel from WindowsReport.com, until next time, bye bye.